Hey guys, welcome to the Trunk Trainers Blue Zones Bones kickoff. It's October 1st, 2023, and we are so excited to present uh, this presentation about the Blue Zones and about what we are going to do this month to get Blue Zones certified, hopefully. So um, whether we do or don't, that remains to be seen, but we can't wait for you to join us on this journey. It's going to be super fun. We will be providing all kinds of opportunities for you to get involved with our community um, and to also just share what the Blue Zones is all about, because this is a movement that is um, spreading worldwide and it's all just good stuff. It's helping people live longer, better, um, and be well. So let's start out with uh, letting you know what the Blue Zones is, what it's all about. So I have uh, my screen shared so that we can um, record this. So this is being recorded so that we can share this with everybody in case you couldn't make it to our kickoff here on Sunday. Um, but the Blue Zones briefly will um, get into what it is, um, but throughout the month, we're going to be learning more and more as we go. So this is just the quick, quick version. Um, and you can find some different resources, which we'll share with you to learn more about it. Um, but I'm here at bluezones.com and I pulled us down to our story for the Blue Zones. So I'm just going to read this to you. Dan Butner, Blue Zones founder, is an explorer, National Geographic fellow, and award-winning journalist and producer, and New York Times bestselling author. So he identified the five original Blue Zones, the place in the world with the healthiest, longest living populations, and that includes Okinawa, Japan, um, Sardinia, Italy, Nicoya, Costa Rica, Icaria, Greece, and Loma Linda, California. So you can explore on this website um, all of these different blue zones where these people are living um, long, well. These are high concentrations of um, centenarians, and they're doing, uh, they're just doing life. So the main premise of this program boils down to nine principles that Dan Buettner discovered. And it's kind of interesting that um, these guys aren't trying to live long, they're just living life, but doing some different things, um, some similar things that may be contributing to this longevity. So we're going to jump into the nine principles that Dan Buettner discovered. Um, and this is just pulled straight off of the website. So you can check it out for yourself too. But um, what we do here at Trunk Trainers, as you know, is help with exercise. So maybe you haven't been gardening or um, shepherding sheep or, um, you know, hiking up and down mountains your entire life. And so um, it's, those are ways that you move naturally, right? Doing yard work, um, cleaning your house, caring for children, carrying them around. So moving naturally is one of the principles of this blue, blue zones movement. Um, and so we here at trunk trainers help people to move naturally, but that is something that we love functional exercise so that you can go and do life, go on your awesome adventures, right? Continue to move that body in the way that you enjoy. Okay. So having that, um, desire to move naturally is important. And that is one of the, the principles you see here, see here, it's right on top. So we're going to go down to the right, um, having a sense of purpose. So we'll be hosting a purpose workshop, but just having a reason to keep going every day. You'll see in the Blue Zones documentary, Living to 100, um, that different countries or areas have different um, you know, ways that they describe this. But so these um, areas that have the most longevity, they have a purpose every day. They get up to do the job, the job that they feel like they have been put here on earth to, to do, to execute. Okay. So for me, I'm here to ex, uh, educate and inspire people to do these types of things, to move naturally, eat healthy foods, get enough rest, spend time with family here at Trunk Trainers. That's why I created Trunk Trainers for this company and help do and do things like this, do the blue zones bones, you know? So, um, not everybody is so into fitness and health, but everybody does like to have a healthy body. So to, um, help those who are not as motivated get going anyway, that is my mission, right. Um, and purpose. So it also having the right outlook, we need to put things in perspective. So these guys know how to downshift. Um, one of the women in Okinawa said, you know, to not be mad, to have a positive outlook, to um, let things roll off of you and to not take things too seriously, to laugh and be able to rest, recover and downshift and not just be go, go, go all the time, to have naps in the afternoon, to take time with family, to watch the sunset. Okay. So doing these things to downshift. Let's move along to food. Okay. So nutrition, eat wisely. And, um, there is a 80% rule that, um, you can follow. So instead of kind of stuffing yourself or, Oh, just 
another second helping or, you know, having big plates to eat with mindfulness so that you, and slowly chewing your food, having real foods that you have to process with your mouth and, you know, not just, you know, slurping down your food or having a quick bar eating until you're 80% full. Okay. So you're not totally stuffed, but you're satisfied. There's a little bit room left. Okay. Uh, leaving that, that little bit left, um, is one of these principles plant slant. So a lot of these cultures are vegetarian cultures and they're also having like the foods that are local to them. A lot of these cultures are just farming, um, the produce and, um, whole grains, even, uh, animal proteins, but they have raised the animal. Um, so they know that they have been eating plants, right? So, um, making sure that they are, um, having a lot of healthy fruits and vegetables, a lot of herbs, a lot of spices and things that are really rich and dense in, uh, vitamins and minerals. Um, you know, drinking water, drinking wine that is uh, created from grapes that they press, right? So not a lot of preservatives, not a lot of processing, um, things that they create and they create it together, um, in community environments and they process things themselves. So they might use corn, for tortillas, but they process that corn themselves. Same thing with grain, um, having sourdough with natural enzymes that they create and bake them uh, fresh themselves daily. Okay. So plant slant is really important. Okay. Wine at five with friends. So to have that really healthy wine that they've created without a lot of preservatives in it and to kind of same with the right outlook downshift, um, and get together for kind of a Powhana happy hour, um, and having wine at five with friends. So important to have it with somebody that you love, you converse, you relax, it helps you to downshift and you see how all of these play a role, um, together, right. In this nice wheel and circle. So that goes along with the connection. So that is one of the major principles of blue zones is that you can't really do all of these things alone. And hence us creating our blue zones community here. We like to do it together to give you a easier place to follow these guidelines and principles, especially if you want to be doing it anyway, because it can be kind of hard in society if uh, it's not set up, if your community isn't set up to make this easy. Okay. So Finding the right tribe, the people that you resonate with, you're like, oh, those are my people, right? To have those people come together, connect um, is really important. So that's why we'll be hosting our hiking Moai, to have people who want to go up to Coloco and hike with us, then we can come together. Um, a Moai is like a group of people who come together for a common purpose. Um, and, you know, you can have that tribe, even if you can't come here to Hawaii, you can still be part of our tribe and all of these um, different philosophies. And we can connect each other with the same mindset um, and blue zones. There's so many blue zones activities, potentially even in your area too. So we're all part of the blue zones tribe, right? And you can be part of the trunk trainers tribe. And then you might have your tennis tribe, or you might have your uh, knitting club or another book club or something like that. Okay. So finding those people that get you and you get them and then you stick together um, through time. It's really important, okay, to have that connection. And then putting your loved ones first. So you'll find in the blue zones, there's a lot of multi-generations that stick together, right? So children take care of their parents once they get older. Um, and then the grandparents help raise the children and pass on their knowledge, wisdom, education, and habits down through generations. And these um, five blue zones are not really affected by outside influences. They kind of just do their thing. And it's kind of the way that's always been done. So um, maybe you make your own traditions though, and you pass on, you know, you know, your holiday traditions, or maybe you have dinner every night with your family on Saturday, you know, or, every, you know, or dinner at the table at, at six o'clock, you know, um, whatever your traditions are to have them, to do them with your loved ones and to put them first. If somebody gets sick or hurt, then you take care of them, right? You just don't leave them, um, to fend for themselves. And you'll see through the documentaries, how different, um, families have come together to support the ones in need. That's what the Moais were originally in Japan, where the women would come together. And then if somebody got sick, then they could support that person until they got well. And then having that sense of belonging, that's the last point on our nine power principles to feel like you belong to something, you belong to this earth, you belong to your community, you belong to your family. And if you, you know, aren't really feeling that, then, um, you want to maybe try and create that. So go seek it out, find your tribe. Um, even if you don't have it now, you definitely can with intention, go out there and 
and find those you resonate with so that you have a sense of belonging. Another great way to do that is um, community service and giving and sharing and finding your gratitude um, for the things that you do have. So we'll be providing volunteer opportunities during our month of October as well. So let's get into our schedule of what it's going to look like. And I do have a schedule of events that I will be posting so that you can literally go in and just sign up um, for any of these events. I know we've got a lot rolling out for our Blue Zones Bones laying the foundation at Trunk Trainers. The reason we're doing this all in October, by the way, and it's so kind of crunched together, um, is because the certification deadline for Blue Zones certification in in 2023 is the end of October. So they can check off, we do a little um, checklist and then submit it via PowerPoint and get authorized to be a Blue Zones community or not. And I was watching this documentary um, a couple of weeks ago and thought, you know what? Trunk Trainers already does all of this. This is what we believe in. This is who I am at the core. You know, This is what we're striving for living as long as you can, doing the things that you love, living well, being part of a community, being part of your family and to be in nature. So I thought, well, we, you know, Blue Zones would, it just goes hand in hand with trunk trainers. So I wanted to get certified. And I thought, well, we'll lay this out through 2024. Um, but then we thought, you know what, we're just going to go for it this year. And even if we don't obtain our certification, it will still be really fun to try. So all of these days and times are the spots that I had open. Um, so I'll be leading all of these endeavors, but everybody is welcome to join. So you don't need to just be a member or client of trunk trainers. Um, you can jump in any of these if you so choose if you want to, you can do one, you can do all of them. It's up to you, but we will be having a lot of fun in October. Okay. And we're kind of throwing that Halloween theme in there and, and fall and harvest since now it is autumn. Okay. So we have on our Mondays and I'll just show you really quick to scoot this over. This is our blue zones bones calendar. Okay. Um, and we'll be posting all of these on Facebook so you can follow along and see, um, what we're doing. Okay. Um, but we've got on our Mondays, so it's kind of hard to read this version, but on Mondays, our uh, discovery days, so Blue Zones discovery. So learning about Blue Zones, learning about the different things that the Blue Zones cultures do. We will be hosting here on Mondays at 11 o'clock to 12 o'clock. Um, the first four weeks, we'll be watching that Living to 100 documentary. Feel free to bring your lunch. It's kind of, I put it at the lunch hour so that we can, um, if you are close by and you're at work, you can zip over. So bring your healthy lunch and uh, I'll be having my lunch. <laughs> That's my lunch break. So we'll have a big screen and we'll watch um, these documentaries are only like 33 to 40 minutes. So we'll be starting at about 11, 10, just to make sure everybody can get here. But you can also, if you're at home, if you've got ne Netflix and you want to watch um, this along with us, 11 o'clock on Mondays, whatever time, you know, the timing it is for you, because these are all Hawaii standard time, by the way, um, then you can participate still. Okay. So be on the conversation on Facebook. Um, and you can also email me directly if you just want to be involved, Kelsey at trunktrainers.com. Okay. So you are definitely welcome to still participate, even if you're not coming to have lunch with me. And maybe we can like pull up the Zoom or something if you really want to be with us at the same time, but just adjust for time zone. Okay. So those are the Mondays. Those are the discovery days. And then the last, um, Oh, I forgot to change the date. So I will edit this, but this is going to be the 30th. So Monday, October 30th is our book club. So if you don't already have a copy of Blue Zone Solution, we're going to be reading this through the month of October. If you do 10 pages per day, there's like 200 and some pages. So you'll definitely get there by, um, the 30th. Okay. So we'll be going over book club to talk about the Blue Zone Solutions the book. Okay. So that is going to be on the last day of the month. And that'll be our final, that's like kind of our finale for the checklist. By then we should have done all of our, our things. Okay. All right. So the next day of the week on the calendar that we'll be doing blow zones bones, um, is our Wednesday hiking Moai. Okay. So it's a, a group that can get together now. I don't know about you. If you live here in Hawaii, sometimes you want to have a buddy to go up to the hiking trail. Um, and let me see if I can pull up. So here on the list, I put a link to exactly where this is. It's just nice and beautiful. It could be raining. So dress appropriately. It could be so wet and slippery. And it is a lot of roots and stuff. I'll put on our Facebook group, um, some pictures, the boys and I went up and uh, hiked it. And it's so late because I've got um, trainings going on during the day and got to get the kids out of school because I want to pull them 
uh, in with us too. So fine to bring kids, just know that it's a little bit slippery sometimes. Okay. And um, it's a little ad here, get rid of that. Okay. And um, on this website that is linked, then it shows you how to get there too. Okay. Go to the trailhead and a little bit about this, um, this hike. Okay. So it's up Coloco. So that is going to be our Wednesday. We're hiking in for about 20 minutes or so, depending on the group, what everybody wants to do. I was thinking we would do a little bit of forest bathing and breathing meditation for about five minutes to just get a little break and then hike on out. So this is just a nice little taste of a hike up there in Coloco because we want to get out before the sun goes down. And October, it's still setting around 6.15-ish, um, but just to be safe on the safe side for that for hiking. Okay, so that is our... Wednesday, when you go to that calendar, which I just closed accidentally, um, but on that calendar, you can click on, I just kind of linked it all. So you're clicking on it, but then you go and schedule the days independently that you want to participate. Same with the um, living to 100 video. Okay. So then we've got um, some different community events that you can get involved with for the rest of the, the week. Okay. So on the 6th of October, we're doing a purpose workshop here. Um, so figuring out what drives you, what is your purpose? If you don't know already, like I'm pretty set on my purpose. We also did this in uh, 2018. We were, we did all of our checklists in 2018 to be blue zone certified. And we've been living blue before and after ever since, but we never submitted our PowerPoint to officially get uh, certified. So we've done this purpose workshop before, um, and it's very valuable. It's really fun. So um, four o'clock here. And then there is also another one later in the month, there's a link to the calendar of events. And let me see if I can just pull up. Uh, ta -ta 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 pull up that last. Well, I don't know. I don't know where to find it. Okay. On my computer, but there, I have a link at the bottom of that list, which I'm going to be posting that links to all of the events. And there's another purpose workshop that's online. So any of you guys who can't come to trunk trainers for your purpose workshop, you can still get in a purpose workshop, um, hosted by one of the blue zones representatives, um, in October. Okay. Before we're totally wrapped up with our blue zones bones. Okay. So on the 14th, it's a Saturday. So that's this community event is uh, volunteering at Ironman. So um, we have a crew that will be volunteering with Richard, one of our clients. He's in the timing station at the finish line. So if you want to jump specifically into that one, let me know and we can uh, make sure that it's the timing, the uh, finish line timing where you're removing the chips and helping with the bike. Okay. So um, there is I think it's like six o'clock, six, six 30 to 10. That's one that I will be doing because it's hard for me to stay up that late. And then there's one from 10 to like one in the morning where you help to collect all the rest of the bikes for the people who are finishing at the very end. Um, if you, you know, aren't here in, on the big Island and you want to pick an event, maybe a race to sign up to volunteer for, or maybe it's going to be something through your church. Picking a volunteer opportunity is a perfect way to, um, give and, and uh, give that value back to your community. Okay. So that's going to be on the second week of October, the 20th, we have got a little, um, let me take you with me. So out, out here at trunk trainers, we've got this spot, um, in our outside yard. I don't know if you can see this, but it's just a bunch of ferns out there, right? It's right by the fence. I don't know if you can see out the window, the door is locked. So, um, anyway, we're going to clear that out before the 20th. And then it's up to you guys for what you want to plant. Do you want to plant vegetables? Do you want to plant um, flowers or herbs or what, whatever you guys want to plant? That's what we'll do um, and get together and actually do the physical planting. And then we can all watch it grow together um, as time goes on. So if anybody wants to continue to help tend the garden, then that would be great. And getting your hands dirty and growing things, right? It can be um, really therapeutic, especially if you really like that sort of thing. So it helps us move naturally and gets us uh, together and something to kind of look forward to and talk about and explore, okay? And then the final event um, of the community events um, will be the Harvest Festival and Potluck. And we're gonna be doing it like five to seven, five to six thirty here at Trunk Trainers. But it goes in conjunction with Trek the Trail, which is a huge blue zones uh, event right up the road at the Civic Center from four to eight. And that's also linked on our schedule. So that community day event is gonna be um, let me see if I can pull up Trek the Trail Blue Zones. Let me see if I can do this. 
and find it quickly. All right. So this is a really super fun community event that's going to be hosted up at the Civic Center. So you, this is linked, this exact page is linked um, on the sign-up sheet, okay? Free community event, okay? To just have a health and wellness day for uh, family fun. Okay, so we're gonna be doing our harvest festival kind of in the middle of that. So you can swing in, run up, run back, whatever uh, floats your boat, okay? So there you go. So that will be one of our final events. And then like I say, we'll wrap it up with the book club, submit our PowerPoint of all of these fun things we're doing and be good to go, okay? So if you have any questions, just let me know. Um, you can call me, text me You, if you have my number, otherwise message on Facebook or um, email Kelsey, K-E-L-S-I-E at trunktrainers.com or membership at trunktrainers.com. That goes to me too, okay? And um, if you wanna participate in any way, do it, okay? And if you just wanna follow along at home, that's okay too. We hope that it just inspires as many people as possible to start thinking little tweaks to make your life better. This is for you. It's not for me. It's not for trunk trainers. It's for you. Okay. So we want to make it as easy as possible for you to live well longer. Okay. So if you want to join us, then we would love to have you. Okay. But otherwise have a beautiful month of October. Okay. And, um, uh, let us know if you need anything. Okay, guys. Aloha.